Hi guys, uh, just here doing my research, getting ready, and um, Afghanistan is a huge, huge story that Joe Biden doesn't want us talking about, but guess what, we're going to talk about it because every day something more vile and vicious is coming out of Afghanistan that you need to know about. They have announced their, uh, quote, interim government, and they've packed it full of men, no women, not one woman, of men with terrorist ties, including those who are on the FBI's most wanted list and who have actual bounties out for them. One of them is thought to be holding an American hostage right now. Speaking of American hostages, airplanes on the tarmac there in Afghanistan. Anthony Blinken, who is the um, Secretary of State, says, well, we're talking with the Taliban. We expect that, you know, they're going to get the paperwork all worked out. And by the way, while we're talking with them, we're also going to start releasing some funds to them that is theirs. We're going to start lifting some of the sanctions. That sure sounds like a hostage situation to me when you pay for somebody that somebody else is holding. Oh, by the way, speaking of the State Department and Antony Blinken, they have denied paperwork that is necessary. You know these veterans groups, these, these guys who have been going in on their own, these private contractors going in and getting Americans out of Afghanistan? Well, now a secret email has been released that shows our State Department has been denying the rights to leave either Afghanistan or land anywhere else, including the United States. Our State Department standing in the way of getting American citizens out of Afghanistan. Oh, also in leadership positions in Afghanistan, we also have found out, remember those guys that Barack Obama set free for the deserter Bergdahl, Bo Bergdahl, you know that swap? Uh, four of five of those guys now, and, and by the way, all of them seemingly, apparently involved in 9-11, they're in leadership positions in the Taliban. Senator Lindsey Graham says we're going to have to go back in. It's going to happen sooner or later. We're going to have to go back in because already Afghanistan has turned back into a safe haven for terrorists who want to launch strikes against the United States. It's inevitable, he says. We're going to have to go back in and clean it up again. And if that's not all, with the many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands that have been brought into the United States and settled at different Air Force bases across the country, Fort McCoy is now reporting cases of the measles that have been brought here from Afghanistan. No, Joe, we're not going to move on and start talking about your little pet projects. This is the biggest foreign policy mess ever created by any president in the history of the United States of America.